All right, all. It's uh, September 12th. We are on our way to CQ. I got my dad with me. We have four days of fishing planned. I got a boat full of coho rampage gear, a good attitude, and a tank full of gas. So we're headed out, um, just passing Port Angeles. I'm pretty excited for this. It's been a little bit slower of a year for me. I've been uh, at home doing a lot of home renovation projects. I just haven't been coho fishing as much as I did last year. And besides that king at the beginning of the season, I really haven't gotten into, well, and the pink, we caught a big pink, but really any fish that are above average. So I'm open out here at uh, CQ, Clallam Bay, Pillar Point, Slip Point, we can change that. So I'm pretty excited for this. Stay tuned. Cheers. Nice coho. Let's see what he is. Just, just nailed a keeper coho out here. <laughs> Fantastic fish. Let's get him in here. We got a double. Yeah, it's got a double over there on my rod. We got a keeper right here. We're bringing him in the boat. Nice. Is he really? Keeper coho right there. Yep. <laughs> Do it. Oh no, my camera. Okay, you ready? My side. I am. Back to back 
It's a missed clip. He's good. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay guys, back to back hatchery fish out here, which has been hard. Uh, it's been hard to find hatchery. I'm seeing these hatchery fish. When we get one, we get another. And then we go through a bunch of wilds. They almost school together for some reason. We're letting line out, just normal stuff here. 30 feet, 25 feet behind the boat. Just pulling it out here. Got some ace high flies back there. 29 inch, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Sampo connected to a few different Pro Troll LED flashers. Clipping them in, dropping them to 35 to 40 feet. We're trying to outrun the kings. And no time for coffee. There's wild kings out here, and we are trying not to hook up with them as best as we can. So we are changing our, we're changing, we're altering our depth based off where we're finding kings, but we're still catching coho, so that's nice. He's not on there anymore. Nice. Yeah, he is. Yeah, oh, there we go. There's a double. That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he just clipped it and hit it and just left it hanging, so I didn't go for it. Are we doing this again? Back to back doubles, I think. No, no, this isn't back to back. We had a few little fish in between. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So if we pull the uh, throttle back all the way, it will be easier to net by yourself. Yep. <laughs> back, yeah. Yeah, you do. There's a coho. Two coho at the back of the boat. Wow, no! Oh! Bring him towards him, yes! Beautiful coho with a fin. I'm gonna let you deal with your fish. <laughs> that was too coho. 70 feet. No, nope. that's all right. We're getting back into it around 300 feet of water. That's kind of where we're hitting the other ones. We did hit a lull. We had like seven, eight minutes before we had another one on. Yeah, it's a pretty big lull. I was falling asleep. We almost had a cup of coffee. He run at you? He spit it. No, no, he's on there. Probably. I don't blame the guy. All right. Here we go. I'll keep you on. It's all right. It's all right. We do have a mess. Just ask him not to roll very much and it won't tangle too bad. We're looking good. We're looking coho -y. Nice. Nice fish. He's got a fin. We're going to let him go, but it's a nice fish. Yeah. Thirty-eight feet. So funny you see the flasher. Yeah, nice, that's a coho.
coho. Let's see what we got. Nice coho. Nice keeper coho. Nice keeper coho. Yeah. <laughs> Let me double check him one more time. But yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he's a keeper. Nice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right all right nice work oh oh you might want to let some more line out on your reel i don't want to break your tip there okay cool okay here we go there you go there you go what is happening to my boat was somebody murdered in here oh my god <laughs> what happened well it's 9 10 on our first morning fishing CQ out here for hatchery coho and it was amazing. I completely understand why people call it a rodeo out here now. Uh, for the first 10, 20 minutes, we couldn't keep a rod in the water for more than literally 30 seconds to one minute. Um, we're just hammering um, all different sizes and species of fish. Uh, we, we ended up limiting here. Uh, we've been working the top 40 feet of water at a pretty high rate of speed. I'd say almost 4, 4 to 4.5, uh, maybe like 3.8 to 4.5. Um, pulling some, some different hoochies, um, mainly those ace high flies in white with the red eyes. Um, some had the tinsel skirt, some didn't. A um, couple of pro troll LED flashers like the green uh, Hornet and the other one you'll, you'll see in the clips. Uh, just an awesome morning out here. We're going to flay the fish and then we'll get some sizes and some weights on all the fish and I'll report back. But uh, yeah, first morning did not disappoint. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go figure out what to do with the rest of the day now because it's still early morning. So cheers. This is my 24 inch cooler. And to give you an idea, these fish are all basically filling the size of the cooler. They're stretching the whole length. This is our largest hatchery coho right here and he's coming in at uh, just to give you an idea that's a better scale so that's that's at zero 22 so this is a 20 this is a, almost a 25 yeah this is a 25 inch um he's our largest for today 25 inch i'm gonna get a quick scale on him Screen will go black, it's okay. Still recording. Six pound. Six pound is our biggest. It's a nice size. Nice fish. Yeah.